Hello everybody. Welcome to Labour History Lanx. It's now July 2022 and just like last summer we're going to do a thorough or should I say uh, interesting historical inaction. This time we're going to look at a very famous painting or should I say jigsaw. Yes something from 1816. So with no more ado let's get on with it. And here it is the famous painting by George Chambers of the Bombardment of Algiers 1816. It is in fact a 9,000 piece jigsaw that the family files put together several years ago. So what's the problem? Well, the first problem is several insects seem to have been entrapped behind a canvas. <laughs> and, as one can see, if we zoom in a little closer, the jigsaw is starting to fall apart. So how are we going to resolve this problem? We bring in the fazers. No project is ever undertaken without an occasional problem. <laughs> There's nothing like a tea break to keep up morale. Is there, Alice? No, it's good. Thank you. So, here we are. That's definitely a bee and that's a spider good here was the original jigsaw team so we got the frame off we broke the glass got rid of the uh, spiders and well the insects and now I'm going to glue it together. Kettle on, Mum, and we'll see you later. So there we have it. The reparation of the huge jigsaw, the 9,000 piece, which actually <coughs> is in the Maritime Museum in Greenwich today. 1816, of course, early uh, 19th century, uh, a period when, of course, the British Empire was building and building and uh, the actual painting that uh, Chambers did was a reenactment of the uh, bombardment of Algiers as Barbary pilot, uh, pirates had uh, uh, hijacked and were held in, held, holding to ransom uh, the British consul there. Needless to say everything was finally resolved after a few exchanges of cannon shot. <laughs> This was a period that uh, will be probably remembered best for literary people such as Byron. The Prime Minister at the time was the Earl of Liverpool and the King was King George III. Well, you, oh, I hope you've enjoyed this uh, little interlude for summer and don't forget, tune in every month for the latest editions of Labour History Lanks. Put the kettle on, Mum! <laughs>